the energy like in your locker room right now amongst the players? It's good. Um, you know, disappointed with the way we played, I think. But luckily, we have two more opportunities, and I think, uh, you know, it's against two teams we know very well. And, and that both fan bases get excited for these games, so I think that's helped move past, you know, the last couple of weeks and on to what we got ahead of us. What is your plan to try and rectify the difficulties in stopping the rush? Yeah, I mean, we, we're looking at all angles. You know, personnel is, is one thing we've hit on, and then uh, schematically, um, just have to get better. You know. Um, there's no easy answer. We've, we've tried to rectify the last three weeks and haven't had a, an answer, so we'll try and figure it out this week. Some of the technique, have they sort of uh, lost, moved away from the fundamentals that they were doing so well earlier? Yeah, it, it may be. On, on, in some instances, there's some new guys in there playing. Um, but you've got to give the teams we played credit to. You know, they're good, good teams with good schemes and good players. And um, Especially last week, I thought they just moved us around. After watching the film, are there going to be any changes made to the starting lineup? Yeah, yeah. Um, but we'll, we'll figure it out this week and uh, go from there. Have you settled on who's going to start quarterback? No. Um, that's an interesting position to be in week 11 and still kind of have that going on. So we'll, we'll get them both reps and, and see uh, see how it goes this week and then try one of them out there. Michael Brewer at all in the mix? Uh, we'll see. We're going to try to get him some more. And like I said, he um, – Hadn't got a ton, and so at times I didn't know if it would be fair to throw him in there and just let him go. So we'll see how he looks this week and, and just take it from there. So if, uh, <coughs> what percentage of your snaps during practice do you get, do you get to the guy who's going to start that week? Yeah, it varies. It varies. We try to get um, a bunch to, to both quarterbacks, but it just varies week to week depending on game plan. Coach, what are Baylor's weaknesses? It's a good question. Still, still trying to find them. You know, you turn on the tape, and every time it flashes the scoreboard, it's always 63 to seven or 70 to 14. So it's really hard to find film that you see as you know usable game film because a lot of the times the backups are in and um, the game's out of hand. So they're they're solid in every phase, and, and they're playing with a ton of confidence right now. <clears throat> on the subject of the low survivor. Foundation. What was your main idea, idea for picking that particular organization to support? Yeah, they picked us, which was neat. Uh, Marcus Luttrell had um, some friends or family that went to Texas Tech, and so was very familiar with this university and picked us to do that Under Armour game. So we were very honored, and our players got to hear him speak and watch the movie, and so it was a great um, deal for our players to be a part of that. That was a great event. So just this one event, you know, what can we expect in the future for great events like this happening at Texas Tech? Yeah, hopefully there's more. Um, usually they just tell me we're doing them and I roll with it. So I don't have a ton of say. That's from the higher ups. But that, that was a very unique experience for our players to be able to be around uh, Marcus and hear his story. Have you sat down with Matt and gone through film and talked with him about how you'd like to see things change? And how has he responded? Yeah, he's been great. Um, you know, we're. We got what we got, and so I think all those coaches are doing a tremendous job um, working and, and trying to put people in positions to be successful, and that's all you can do is put them there, and if they can't make the play, we've got to find somebody who can, and so that's kind of the point we're at. That's probably the frustrating part is knowing what your problem is and then trying to figure out how to fix it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's part of football in this time of year. Um, everybody has issues, and uh, we're just trying to sort through them. What is uh, We'll see. Uh, hopefully he responds. He responded really well to treatment last week, and hopefully he, uh, he does even better this week and can, can get out there for a few snaps. But as of right now, we're not sure how, his, uh, how he's going to feel you know, once we get out to the practice field. Did he, do, did he do anything on the field last week? He did not. He did not. Just some running and in rehab. So we'll see if he can do it this week. Are you going to talk with the quarterbacks about let's stem this tide of turnovers? Because it's plagued you all season. It has. Um, it's been, you know, once you play the better teams and, and you lose the turnover battle, it's going to be a, a tough time winning the games. And they're young, and that's part of the process in our system. You know, you got you got to grow with it. But at this point in the season, you think that some of those could be eliminated. So, so if we can protect the ball, it gives us a much better chance of winning these games. After looking at the film, did, was Baker doing something that you noticed on film that kind of got the team going? Was there anything in, in particular? No, I think. Um, he just came in and tried to execute the offense and moved around and made some plays. He was under duress. Um, they had a good front, 
and then he did a good job keeping some things alive, took some sacks he can't take, but uh, I didn't notice any certain spark, anything like that. Is there something in practice that you do to fix these, try to fix these mistakes? Uh, yeah, we coach hard. Yeah, that's about it. I don't know any other way to do it, you know. Else is <laughs> I wish, wish I had it. If I had that, we wouldn't be here right now answering these questions. So. Coach, we've heard the word on this one thrown around. How do you react to that word, and how do you kind of correlate that with what you think your team is? Uh, yeah, I mean, people can say what they want about it. You know, when you start losing, that, that word gets thrown around. Um, but we're, we're doing the best we can, and I think our kids are playing really hard, and a lot of those penalties are effort penalties, um, and so you, you're going to live with some of those. On a personal level, it had to feel great starting 7-0. and How are you feeling about this three games? Yeah, I'm good. Um, it's part of football, you know, and we, we knew the type of team we had going in and the areas that we had to improve upon, and, and so we still know those, and, and we just have to keep working and have two really big games left, and, and I'm excited to see how our team reacts. So you're not really looking at it as a bookend as the end of the season. You're looking beyond this season to the future. Yeah, I think coming into it, it's, it's always a process, and we just wanted to get better with each week, and um, we feel like we've done that to an extent. Just got to eliminate some of those mistakes, some of those turnovers, and, and we'll be right there. This could mark the last game for the Baylor series in Dallas. Would you rather it be home and home, or do you, do you have an opinion on that one way or another? I think it's a neat experience for our players to be able to go to you know Cowboys Stadium and play there. So um, I haven't been a part of it yet, but from their accounts, they really enjoy it. So I'd like to see it stay there. Coach Browles was a coach here at Tech, the running backs coach, when you were playing quarterback. What is your relationship with him? Really good. He's a guy I've always looked up to, admired the way he handles his programs, coaches his players, and, and has been successful at every level. Um, so he, he's as good as it gets in this profession. With the talent you got at receiver, do you think you have some unique matchups to, to challenge Baylor in ways they haven't been challenged before this? I hope so. Uh, they're playing really good as a unit. You know, they feel like they have two corners now that can walk down and man people up, which helps those safeties and kind of lets them just play and roam, roam around. And so it's uh, on tape. A lot of people haven't been able to do much in the passing game. So that's, that's you know, kind of our specialty. So hopefully we'll be able to attack it in some areas. The what was the main issue with Davis on Saturday? I mean, for you to remove from after four series and then as you looked at it yesterday, Just a couple of mistakes um, that were uncharacteristic of the way he plays the game and then some of the uh, things he did. I thought, you know, moved the ball well at times. And, and they were just freshman mistakes, but doing things in the game that he didn't do in practice. And so I just wanted to sit back and take a look at it from the sideline and, um, you know, get that view for a little bit and see if that corrects it. Uh, just misreads, things of that nature, yeah. As a, as a coach, what's your thought process like when you decide to put in another quarterback, particularly when you're working with a couple freshmen? Yeah, it's tough because I think they're both playing at an astounding level for being true freshmen as much as we put on them. So you don't want to discourage them, and they know that. And I just tell them, hey, we're going to do what we think is best for the team. But I couldn't be more impressed by the way they've played this year. Um, they've got a bunch on them, and they've been under some adverse situations and conditions and have hung in there and made a bunch of big plays. So really, really encouraged by both their, their progress this year. You have cited the lack of reps as to why Brewer wasn't considered for game time. What's leading to the lack of reps? What keeps him out of that mix in practice? Yeah, just the point we're at in the season. You know, we feel like watching um, Baker and Davis progress and where they're at. Um, it's just not fair at this point to put Mike in until he gets caught up and gets to that level. And, and he's a very talented kid and just has to get more reps whenever we can find time. Have you contemplated uh, paperwork at all for a medical redshirt? I'm not sure what all that even entails at this you know, point. So that would be something um, after the year I'm sure we could look into, but I'm not sure how that works. I know he already redshirted once, so I'm not sure how it works in his situation. What stands out about c Strunk's running game that makes him better than most of the nation? Yeah, just explosive. Um, they do a good job of uh, springing him outside. He likes to bounce a bunch of stuff outside, and when he gets on the perimeter, he's, he's gone. I mean, not many people in the country can run with him, so that's the biggest thing. Anytime he touches it, it's, it's a home run threat. Coach, you guys have fed all year off of people doubting you and you use a little motivational tactics. When you saw that point spread this morning, is that something that you quietly remind the kids about all week? Uh, yeah, I didn't see it, so. <laughs> 
28, yeah, that's probably about right with what they're doing, I think. Um, and they beat everybody by, by 70 so far, so it's probably about right. Uh, yeah, we'll see. I mean, it's like I said earlier, both fan bases get up for this game. They're very familiar with each other, so I expect our kids to play hard. Is there anything different that you do in the routine this week to change things up, make things fun, make things tougher? Uh, no, 